Coming to you live from a prostitute-infested shanty on top of a frozen lake, the number one podcast all the hot babes are raving about. Slick and Brewski save the world! Welcome back to our humble abode, the shanty. I'm Slick, and joining me as always is your favorite horn patriot, the Brewski. Is it safe to pray yet? And sitting in with us is Kamos. You. Helping you untangle the bullshit the left is spewing at us day by day, and all the while, liking and subscribing so you can help our channel grow like a flower of love. And happiness. Because here at Slick and Brewski, we're awfully gentle. Now. I hear 50 people died in the back of a tractor trailer when the refrigeration system failed. There was no refrigeration system in the first place, Bob. (laughs) Now, hold on, Your Honor. There was no refrigeration in the first place. That's what I'm saying. You would have gotten uh, 50 Mexican popsicles. Uh, There was 50. So what I'm trying to say, there was no water and there was no air holes. So but, even if it was refrigerated, that wouldn't help. Right. They said it was an air conditioned unit, yeah, but, but it wasn't working. Okay. Well, first off, like everything, like the McDonald's milkshake machine. Okay, those things get like 125 degrees in there. You have no water, no airflow. Okay. They had Mexicans, Guatemalans, and I can't remember what the other group was, but yeah. So they had a little bit of everything in there, like yeah, South American. Okay, so they had a few different people. So, yeah, they had 51 of them, I guess, like 16 of them. They pulled out, rushed them to the hospital. And, uh, yeah, they were adults and children that died. I've been following that pretty exclusively. But This is this is a uh, organization. I thought I heard they didn't talk about any kids dying. Oh, dude, there's there's, there's a few kids that died. They said that um, they said that the, 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 the description was that there was piles of bodies mm-hmm. when they opened, opened the door. door. Yeah. I imagine That's that smell. Sad. It's it sad. is sad, but the problem is, it's the cartels doing this shit and pushing trafficking in that. I mean, and everybody, you know, because so borders, yeah, borders are real cartel bull, bull I, honky. The border's not great right now, bud. All right, I uh, know a guy, you know, a little birdie told me that uh, works in logistics. That uh, you know, well, this isn't a normal or this is a normal occurrence. It just doesn't happen this many. I mean. I know of, or they know of, uh, <coughs> that uh, people come over on bread trucks and uh-huh. whatever they get their hands on because the border's so screwed up right now. You know, it doesn't take much to get across the border. Uh, so, I mean, that, you know, when you have fences and shit, they can just four wheel drive it if they really wanted to. I mean, I mean I'm sure they get the, across. The, the amounts, I'm sure, vary from time to time, but they've always, there's always been some of that. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, instead of, well, the problem is, Instead of having like I think six hundred thousand, it was six hundred thousand in the whole Trump era. It's been two point four million already in the Biden era. So yeah. that they've that they know of, and uh, uh, it's a whole. I think it's got to do with uh, what's coming in November. They're trying to uh, bring in some new votes. Uh, yeah, because I'm telling you, every one of these ones that get in here and they get housing and they get all everything they need. I'm guaranteeing they're getting a card saying. Make sure you like, like how we like and subscribe. Here's a card. Yeah. Make sure you vote for who helped you. Like the holiday it's, and leaving the towels and shit. Dude, what's real like, messed up is. Don't forget to write our review. These people don't even, a lot of them don't even trust like the people trying to help them because they get what they need and then they peace out. They run away. Half of them don't even check into the places that they're getting free. Oh, yeah. They don't trust anybody. Yeah. They don't know any better. And they're willing to wage. Right. They're smart enough not to trust those Well, people. that's true. That's true. But like. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't pass the sniff test for this Haitian. Yeah. It's just. Well, that's what I remember. Like I said, that girl at the gas station. They don't know any better. They'd rather be out in the wild. Like whatever. Well, they know it's, how to survive. Yeah. Except for these 50. Yeah. So they got in a hot van and or hot truck. and, But it's not the first. I mean, this stuff happens all the time. It just isn't publicized like this i mean they pick how many, and choose when to publicize right. well how it. many hey bud how many how many tractor trailers are there in the country a shit ton how many go across the border every day a shit ton how many bread trucks are out there a shit ton 
I mean, didn't you get hit by a bread truck once? Oh, yeah, it was a semi <laughs> one. It'll it'll send you through the air. Nah, you sound them. biased. <laughs> yeah, I said, you know, trucks. I don't, I don't have any. Yeah, I, I'm against bread trucks. Somebody, they, yeah, somebody told me you got hit by a bread yeah, truck. My bra- I, I brakes, no, my they, brakes you, went out, and yeah, I rolled through a red light. Yeah, and, uh, Dodge a, truck brakes yeah. went out. I love how he covers himself. Yeah, and it went through. And that it, fateful it, moment, Your Honor. <laughs> and brakes just went right down to the ground. Yeah, dude, that was a scary moment, man. I thought. You got was schwabled. A bad you schwabled. schwabled in your pants. Yes. <laughs> it was, dude, I went flying through the air, bro. <laughs> the truck did two complete spins. <laughs> I'm over here. I, I was in a, yeah. It's, it, it'll, it'll, Car you know, accident. it's rough, man. It's rough. But like, this is stuff's not going to stop, man. I mean, there's a lot of organizations that are set up for people to come across for landscaping and warehousing and, all kinds of stuff for people to come across already. And uh, like I hear a lot of people who get landscapers and things like that. I mean, Mexican scapers, they get 20 of them. Well, 12 of them will run away when they get here. So they have to, you know, I don't want to say order them, but like when they ask these organizations, how many do you need? They say probably 10 more than what they really need. I mean, that's because been a thing for decades. It right? has people been. People from up here will drive down to the border and pick up 20, yes, 30 people 100%. for the, the you've summer gotta, season. You've gotta, you've gotta look, out, look outside of your Home Depot sometimes. These leftists are like, oh, good. That's fine. Yeah. People are seeking happiness in America. Yeah. And they're here, and they're they came to be free. Right. And let's let them in, and let's let them get lost. They don't care. And let them use them. That's messed up. Every them. every you gotta remember every group that's ever come to this country has been used at one point or the other. The Italians, big time. Uh, uh, Irish, so? big time. What they all do the, the yards, Italians, dude. All the boroughs in New York. They was just it was rough. Do you uh, read some history on the start of New York and stuff like that? It's it was crazy back then. People use, they were pretty much just slaves, just a different color slave. It oh, really was. Okay. It was crazy. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, well, everybody's been used like that sometime in history. I was going to say, I feel like too, even though it is the left that pushes or seems to push a lot of these bills and different things that allow some of it, it takes both sides to yep. allow a lot of this stuff to happen. Yep. So the right might be there, you know acting like they're they're trying to stop certain things they play they play a little different card but they're still playing the same same game together and they both make the same profits off all the cartel stuff they both make the same profits off all the lobbying right they they, you know they're they're in the same they're paid by the same people right it just it's it's a it's it's a tough, it's a tough situation man because there's you know children involved and people that do want a better life and then they're being used by certain organizations too. Wow, right. it's sad. Yeah. So you think the wall would stop stop a lot of these problems? I really, I really think it? it wouldn't. I mean, it would if they would have finished it and get it under the control and no spots where people can get through and things like that. You know, moats and all that, and had like three different spots on the wall where people can go in single filey. You know, and then have an area where if people have to, you know, get their background checked and stuff. They go in there for a little bit. You know, and and then when they get cleared, like customs, they get cleared. Have a nice life. You know, here's some sure. help. Here's some help. So how this does is, the, what's the, and, and, what's but, the cartels but doing here? They've already caught fifty. I think it's fifty three. What are the cartels up to, dude? They've caught fifty three people that come across the border already that have been on the America's on the, mo- yeah list. bad list, Bob. And fifty three of them have been caught. How many have we not caught? But that that's list the is problem. Also made up by the government. Yeah, they're, the, they're the ones who should be on the most wanted list. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> that's true. But like, like we talked about, like they put like Bin Laden on the wanted list yeah. when they planted Bin Laden and, and taught him what to do. Like, I Jesus. mean, they, they play both sides of the shit. I, yeah, I don't, yeah. What? But I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's very scary when you have something that's wide wide open. And what's the thing that probably the scariest part? Guess what they're trying to take away? Weapons to protect yourself. And they're the wild, wild west coming across the border. Who knows what the hell's coming across the border? But no, we want to take your guns so you can't protect yourselves. Get the hell out of here with that. You know what I mean? I mean people are never going to give up the guns. It's just because the bad other, people, bad yeah. people, hey, bad right. people give up their guns too. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's never going to come down to like the actual general population, I don't think, giving up their guns because. People, people know better. And the thing is, it's just another division tactic. It's just like everything, yeah. you know. And even with the, you know, the Roe versus Wade, another one, you know, that whole thing. People are blowing that up and out of proportion right. and everything because the fact of the matter is 
both sides are taking it to the extreme. One side saying, right. oh, they just, you know, made it illegal. No, they didn't. They took it from a federal stance and said the federal right. government is not going to rule on this. It's now back at the state level. So, right. you know, in a lot of situations, nothing changed. In well, some, there's a lot of states some, that are coming out. In, uh, in some states, things Like Oklahoma. Changing. Like Oklahoma, they already said we're a pro-life state. You're, you're going to have your usual suspects. Right. New York, California. Yeah. Um, you know, up the border there, Washington, Oregon, all of them are going to be fucking idiots right, out they're there. They're going to be their pro pro choice states. And then you're going to have your Texas and Florida and all your, you know, farming community states, all them all going to be is pro- pretty much how this was set up to work. It, it is. It's it's. And then you're going to have like, you know, still like Maryland, all that's always left. It's it just it's sad. It, it really and then you got companies like dicks out there that are going like, if you're living a pro ch- a pro uh, life state, we'll pay you for up to four thousand dollars to go to a state that is pro choice to get your abortion. No kid, I bought it. Came out yesterday. I mean, <laughs> two days ago, companies that'll pay for the the gender transition. Oh yeah, hundred percent. and all that and stuff too. So I, oh yeah, hundred percent, dude. And that at some point you got to be like, how do you wake up in the morning? Like, how do you... Yeah, no shit. How do you look yourself in the mirror, man? Yeah. Like, the thing it's, it's, it's kind of like, like, I don't know. If you think about how many people are out there arguing, because, of course, you see it all over social media. Everyone, yeah. you right. Know, oh, yeah, it's, 100%. It's the same on both sides. You see the same rhetoric. Trying to repeated. split up friends, trying to split right. up friends and, and family. And the thing is, 95% of these people that are arguing, do you think any of them in the next year, two, maybe even three to five years, are actually or were actually ever going to get an abortion? Because the majority of them probably uh, weren't. Well, like, uh, most, uh, our, most of the people that I see, you know what I mean? Our most age, of them are like, now you got to watch. So our yeah. age, you're correct. Okay. Right. Younger, because you got people oh, yeah. literally yeah. like, well, yeah, I'm you sure. know, they're yeah, like, they're literally making it like sure. the cool thing. Like, yeah. th- that's not good because a lot of your young kids don't go to church, don't do any of that. So they know it's, they're very easily swayed by media. For sure. very, like, they look For at, sure. they're just, Whatever the cool thing is, what they're going to do. You know what I mean? Well, they're making the cool thing to, oh, you don't have to do that. You don't have to live with a baby. I'll just get this abortion. Take this blue pill. Right. It's the cool thing. Yeah. What's missing from all that? Uh, what would God do? You know what I mean? <laughs> or think. Isn't that crazy? It's just like it's gone. But And then the thing on like like red flags, I mean, when you just said about the guns, all right, go back on that real fast. The red flag laws that they're trying to push. Yeah. You heard about any of those? Okay. I well, have, but what the, I heard, the, the what problem I heard is with red flag. Is it something about that boyfriend loophole where like, right. it's only if the person was married, ah. would they be able to go back and take the guns? And well, if they're not married, they don't have that option. It's not even the take I, the guns. I know from having my guns seized by the sheriff and my <laughs> ex-wife's protection order. It's not a bad gig, you know, you just give them to them. If you're not a threat, you wouldn't feel like it, right. and then you get them back when it's over. Well, the, but pro- the problem is with I'm red not flag. a red flag, you see? Right. You don't, you're a runner. You're, you're not a red you're flag. you my in, client all you, wrong. <laughs> the problem with red flag is they wanted to make it to the point where your neighbor, oh, they're suspicious. It's, it, there's no proof. That's it's, what it sounds like. Right. Well, that's... You don't like that neighbor. Oh, he's doing some crazy shit over there. I heard yeah. guns. Take his AR. All of a sudden, he's in. Th- yeah. I mean, that's not good. That's because- the same thing the day- they did with the war on drugs. Ex- that's how they started yeah. it back that's- in the like, 70s and 80s and stuff. Jesus Christ. It's that's how good. they. That's how Karen gets her day in court. It pretty much. That's how. Uh, it, next thing you know, it's illegal to hence, have smoke in your yard. Hence why. <laughs> hence why. No, nobody's neighbors talk to each other anymore. It's sad, isn't it? Sad that yeah, people, people don't know their neighbors. Yeah, people stuff. don't know their neighbors. It's so sad. Not me, my neighbor, fucking Tony. If it wasn't for him, I don't know what I'd do. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A lot of people don't know. You, they, you get people along don't with have your neighbor. Oh, yeah. You guys, yeah. you, I feel you, like you guys are really close. What'd from you what say I there? Understood. What'd you yeah. say there, neighbor? Right. I grew up in a, a neighborhood where everybody had a a uh, you know a street party uh, cookout. Yeah. Like everybody knew each other. You don't see that well, shit yeah, anymore. I was just thinking. You know about what I mean? That. You don't like, see I was that anymore. Like how cool that would be to do. You don't. Yeah, but uh, you bro, don't. I was thinking about doing it. In fact, I went so far as to get yeah, Chad was going to be financial backing, and we were going to try and get two right bounce one bounce house, and then he's like, "I'll get two or three. and I'm like, "That would be epic, dude!" And then get clearance from the township, which they said, "Let them know what day," and you're welcome to use it. And I'm like. 
we got all this space over here bouncing you know think about it, that and then just call it a block party while i'm at it to boot like you, you know right. if i tell all my buddies for sure but like right. just make it a block party and see how it works it's sad yeah. though wouldn't but hurt it's sad because that used to be you talk to the older gentlemen all right oh and I, they talk I, about, I agree they talk about well the sandlot remember the sandlot the movie yeah. that they had their street party and then they said the fireworks and stuff everybody's right. out cooking out everybody knows their neighbors everybody's having fun you know oh there's a community watching the neighborhood We're divided around you see all here. this they want everybody not talking divided they don't want they don't want that because they want the feeling of you don't know who's got yeah. your back if something goes well, sideways, I mean, and you you don't know your neighbor. It it's, division, division, division. Yes, and it's yeah. sad because it's sad you God, live in. A, I just wish they wouldn't have went after Trump like that. Yeah, you know that's what divided us the most. Yeah, it, they it can just, get away with whatever the fuck they want. They made up all that shit. See, that's another thing. They want you spying like, on your neighbor. Why would they do well, that? But perfect example. Perfect if it example. Wasn't like this side, but because it was all. It was all bullshit. But the perfect example was or your was damn neighbor with the another, masks. Another spectacle to got to get you watching. What what was by they were literally saying if your uh, neighbors like uh with COVID, if your neighbors out and about, <coughs> your neighbors doing oh, this, your neighbor does that, a tell on them. Remember they had did. that hotline? They had yeah. that hotline. They set certainly up. did right. pull that shit a little yeah. bit. We got they, close to that shit. It was it was bad, man. I'll, I'll be honest, there were a few places I went in that I like when you see the sign that said if you're vaccinated and it's like I'm not reading the rest of that. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't it's, apply to me. Or they like they like I just like something I, like you're welcome, but non-vaxed. It's like well, I didn't read the rest. Well, they of want it. the they want the feeling like I just sent him a thing today. Baseball player, right? One of the cl- a baseball player for the Boston Red Sox. All right, he's the only one in that he can't travel with the team in Toronto, in Canada, okay? Because he didn't get vaxed. They're trying to make him look like the bad guy. Yeah, like that's what they were Yo, trying bro, to do with the neighbors. Was, that's what they were trying to do with the neighbors. I thought, I, and it still might in time, right? So oh, let's 100%. just be sure what we're going for here. Oh, yeah. on Slick and Brewski save the world. Right. But facial recognition cameras, hundred percent, that know whether you are vaccinated in a place. Didn't and now I also heard something about them saying Biden was on record saying we're going to have another pandemic. Oh, super! Did you hear this? What's the swine flu? Fucking uh, well, we got instead of a bat, we're gonna have a bird. That's what it. Uh, we're gonna have but ten thousand. That happened to monkeypox. Yeah, that just failed. Uh, just that it was, didn't get. Yeah. It. No, we don't have that. We don't have a. We don't have enough homosexuals in the just United could, States for that just one. Couldn't mm. push it. Yeah, we don't have enough. Yeah, that was just kind of a revamped AIDS from what they're pretty saying. much. Yeah, we don't have enough autoimmune disorder. Yeah, that one didn't spread fast enough for them, so they're like, yeah, we'll X that one out. So they're gonna go for. uh Something you know, mosquitoes. The Nile, West Nile's coming back hard. Dude, I'm 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 just so appalled about watching Trudeau up there, and I feel like that's just too close to home. He's such a punk. That dude is an actor. It's he's just a fucking actor, and I called it too. But he and then, but they're like stripping them of all their freedoms oh, all together. Like, we're not going to tolerate. And, and this. guess and who's watching? Like, and guess who's watching? One dude there with a swastika flag. One guy, and like they made it, they blew it all up <laughs> out of proportion. And who's watching? Our government, bud. That's right. It's going to be an they interesting. All work together. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting. Uh, yeah, they all get to meet at the uh, the G seven summit or whatever, huh? Yeah, right. all their UN stuff. Yeah, they were all making fun of Putin because he had his shirt off riding a horse, and Biden came and ride a fucking bicycle down the street. Yeah, yeah, they're making. Did you see that thing I posted? Just fucking Biden on a motorcycle. Ah, uh, how so, about? And so we all chipped in, and got him a motorcycle because he can't ride a bike. He'll fucking crash a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> you got hey, uh, to put that one up on the screen when I shoot. I heard um, a bridge connecting China and Russia. They celebrated that. Okay. So that like doesn't look good for us. What did it do? China and Russia connected. Oh, yeah, yeah, they like had a celebration. Well, they're Fireworks buddies. going off. There was like an NPR or something type news thing done or something that I, I was like, well, that's interesting, you know. Yeah, all of a sudden, they're buddies. It's not looking good. No. You, you know how this shit works, man. When, like, when you're the last dude and they want you to get off the island, you know, it's not, they're not, they're only going to ask. Well, they don't really ask. They just take it. Exactly. And I think we're on the receiving end because it started in China, this whole thing. Do you really think they'd tell the U.S. like we've, we've gone, or this whole thing's a bioweapon and it's been hatched from China? Oh, this thing was a we game plan from the beginning, yeah. but. But it's like you can't panic the people either. And you certainly can't tell them we're under attack. 
Like China just doesn't <sighs> can laugh. They don't need to don't, don't know, to nobody. They're not telling anybody shit about it's it. It's interesting to see the numbers that came out in North Korea on the COVID. There wasn't a whole lot. Wasn't do you remember there when there wasn't a whole lot? I remember when, when they shot that guy downtown. Supposedly, there was a story that came out that that they had one case or two cases in North Korea. Middle, they shot the guy and burned his body in the fucking middle of the. <laughs> I shit you not. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. You're but not that's getting your information from TikTok again, right. are you? No, but that's. I mean, that's did you hear? Any, did you hear anything on North Korea really having bad COVID numbers? I didn't. They don't I know, talk about. Theirs. I mean, they They're don't. Just that's like true. That. They just don't fucking talk. They, they keep what, it what under wraps. We're gonna give you a damn thing. <laughs> you know, like we don't know your shit. They keep it under wraps. So yeah. this is the kind of stuff that I think about when we talk about like running into the last of our oil. Right. God forbid. You know, imagine countries knew that our natural resources are depleting, and it's right. this is now like a how's the rest of our future gonna go down as we figure out how to sustain the lithium battery type things and you know like how do we you know we just you know it's kind of like with energy in mind maybe i'm wrong i'm not talking about carbon emissions i'm talking about last of the resources like we're in and we're in a you know they talk about the green but i think it's like we can't rely on these we always knew we'd have to one day grow up and you know figure something else out and then it's getting to a point where they're saying at the rate we're going, at the rate we're growing and our economies depend on production, right, from fossil fuels, they can't just shut the whole machine off worldwide. So like – Yes, they can. Do you, you know why say? they can? You know why they're pushing everything right now why? even though – and the gas is sky high and everything right now? Why? They, what's that little word that starts with a D? Dependency. All right. It's gonna get. They want to make it. How do you crush something? And you crush a foundation. You gotta build it right back up. This whole, the COVID thing and everything was the first step in smashing us. Okay, and then you gotta when you build something new, you gotta you gotta crush it to the bricks, push it all away and rebuild. The more dependent you, the are. more dependent you are on the government. Hence, like I always say, hence Stalin, Hitler. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mussolini, all them okay over uh, Italy, Russia, and freaking uh, Germany. All right, soup kitchens, soup lines, all that stuff. Those people were dependent on food because they didn't have any. That's they had it. They crushed them so oh, bad. I get it. Whoever com you got, controls right. the power controls. You, whoever controls the food, energy, energy. The, I get it. Well, mostly food because people can live. I mean. So I'm just saying in a theory, in a theory, yeah, we're saying, true, but in a like, theory we're saying these things could but, be fought over as here, nations but here's because a, it's but like here's you don't need thing. to bomb, bomb someone that you're sending supplies to grow their own right. agriculture. Well, right now. You know, they would withhold their fertilizer. Well, You'd what, like to think Ukraine's, that America's already thought all these things through because surely right. like we can't be buying our fertilizer from Russia in the middle of a war that we're supposed to be so against. Right. And we're sending money over to Ukraine to fight them by the billions. But we still, hey, but still going to need a few cases of fertilizer. Yeah, here. right. There's just, this just doesn't make sense Ukraine's to Ukraine's got all the wheat. Now, maybe I'm just some dummy, <laughs> you know, don't understand how it all works, but well, don't you, I just don't, it's like, example. hey, China, sorry about that whole COVID thing, but we're still going to need, you know, all your iPhones you make. Right, right. We need well, here's, well, a few steps ahead. So things are always, things. and it's like, there's a new one of those coming out too. You just wonder, like, we're working with these countries, but we're also at war with them almost. Right, right. Somebody's getting fuck well, here, is it everyone <laughs> is it just a show <laughs> that's another thing man you gotta got like everybody thinks it's conspiracy theory or whatever with the animals dying and stuff like that places are burning on the ground Did god since, forbid it's not it's because the, until dude, then i don't the day, know the what day I ten thousand cattle die at night what are we supposed to drive around and check these places out are we no, taking dude, the slick and brusky road show but they're trying to tell you motorcycles. that motorcycles right they're trying to say that do you know how many cattle die? Like just like, dude, the cattle industry is rough. It died. What I have a lot of cattle farmer expect, buddies. They so. only expect thirty four percent of calves to live. Period. Yeah, but you period past ten, three or four days. Ten thousand. I don't give a shit what it is. There's ten thousand millions. Ten. Yearly. They only had ten thousand on that. Okay, there would have been some survivors. Some are stronger than others. Uh. Ten thousand died. Same spot. I'm just saying we got to like check these numbers. The yeah, it is. Say, but, they say that no one knows exactly how and, many. And died. there's some people that are in the transportation business that I know <laughs> that 
Watch the trucks he very he closely. Winked, just in case yeah. you were wondering. Yeah. J- very closely you and can't see catch the brewski now. Because some of these just loads just a fake voice. Some of these loads are pretty expensive and they're very good money makers for a certain person. <laughs> when you see a good amount of cattle and chickens and ducks and all kinds of stuff leaving our country, all right. It's very, um, it's very sad because we're probably I paying think Chinese people personally, to process it. Personally, I think a situation is, okay, once again, here comes the pharmaceuticals a little bit, all right? Our, you don't get as much nutrition, all right, from the Bill Gates fake type food that he's trying to make the country used to, okay? Definitely not. Then you do regular red meat and, and chicken and stuff like that. You get more and nutrients and stuff. Real food in general. Right. And real food in general. Okay. Here's your fake burger. Here's pills to take over the nutrient part of that. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think why certain people in this water buy. Just put it in the burger. Or that, but they are they're trying to push the pills and stuff too. Oh, take this with your fake meat and you'll be, you won't need to eat a chicken. Yeah. And it's like, ugh. I'm like, you can't. But once in a, again, that's big pharma messing with everything and it's sad because you're gonna put a lot of families out of business you're gonna hence why all the farms are getting bought well, by chinese companies and here's the thing too, bill gates bill at, gates you know you talk about our soil and yeah stuff. it's not great right now the reason it's not is because of how we have farmed for decades and decades people don't rotate their farming they keep the same cattle on the same property they keep the same chicken on the same property right. you're supposed to rotate stuff every two to three months people okay. don't do that in america the farming industry has been terrible Terrible, terrible, terrible. All bad in America. Because it was built around profit. Well, exactly. The... And not only that, so all these animals, greedy ass all motherfucking these animals people. live in like a two by two little cubicle right. for their life. Like right. this is well, not veal. The... Veal does too, like that. That's what I that's mean, what makes it. Yeah, but like I'm just saying, like that's how veal. no, that's how all of them live. Most of them, unless yeah. they're free range. But the thing is, they've checked on that. Most of them who list their stuff as free range and open range, only like ten percent of them actually are. Hmm. Because what they do is, they're a lot of times. Here's what they do: these loopholes too. They have a company that lists the product. That company doesn't actually know what actually goes on with the product, so they list it as free range. But it's actually another company who has the chickens and actually right, raises them. Then there's I've another one fig- that yeah, they processes don't, them. You're not. You don't <clears throat> just go driving in these places with a camera. Right. Like even get the uh, fuck Dumas. out of here. Purdue promised me though. Dumas right around here. Yeah. Their chicken and stuff. Can't be call throwing and names. Ask them. I don't care. You can call and ask them. They can't tell you where their chicken comes from. They'll tell you other local vendors. Hmm. They, they're a fresh local meat market. You go there. You assume everything's done in house. Right. I can dig you it. You go to these places and you check. Most my of them cousin don't. does that and actually sells like chickens, like you were saying. But yeah, yeah. by the time it's done, it costs a lot, man. It's right, hard. To, right. It's hard to do it because For the sure. glo- juggernauts like Tyson and them. Okay, they got mass it. Produce it. Right, just like McDonald's, like good luck opening a burger stand unless right. it's got something compete. special or you're sitting Dude, down. Dude, speaking of burger stands, Swenson's going downhill, bro. Here he goes. It's again. so sad. I'm glad they're not a sponsor. I know. This is so sad with all, though. With all these animals and stuff right. and the, the the food processing places. Like here's the thing, you're talking about why do we have factories that process food? Mm-hmm. It's not food. Think about it. It's it, you're you're buying things that come in a cardboard box. That's not food. Read the ingredients on it. You can't tell me you understand what ninety percent of that stuff right. is. Monosodium <laughs> glyceride and, and all this stuff. That's not food. Mm-hmm. The thing is, we're not eating food. So a lot of these things that might be seeming like, wow, this is scary stuff. We we can't get Cheez Its on the shelf. We can't get you know our gummy bears on the shelf. It's garbage. That's no, the shit no. I'm us fucking cancer. drawing the line of gummy bears, I'm just bro. Saying, dude, it's all sugar. It's all stuff you. that yeah. we've been like. If you look at other countries yeah. that don't have the health problems we do they don't have the same food that we do right or so to speak just just like just like uh that picture somebody took from like the third or was it like the 60s probably at the beach yeah you don't see one overweight person right okay look at the Uh, amount of sugar yeah but now you take a picture at the beach everybody's a little thicker around the waist you know what i mean so it's like and and if you look at like the amount of like and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with eating good quality well done meat like there's, there's nothing wrong with that but the thing is, these ones that are mass produced and things like that, you're not getting quality. You're not getting the same nutrients and stuff yeah. because they aren't getting where a lot of the animals got their nutrients was eating the grass, eating yeah. the good soil, the, the, the good grass that came from the good soil. 
we don't have that now. That's yeah. why you have to get your well, vitamins from other places. Right. Well, we're a lot of our fed corn. Yeah, but the thing is, right. we're a lot of and our corn. A lot of our corn. Yeah. We're a lot of our from what this person in transportation tells me that mo- a lot of our beef and poultry are going to a little country called China. Why so can't they? Gr- why can't they grow it there? Something's wrong with their soil even worse than ours because they don't have an epa and stuff like that so they can use whatever chemicals they want in their factories and shit so they can't grow shit over there very well or they're able to do it cheaper over here or something who knows something I mean, yeah that's true but like that they're, they got worked out i don't think they can grow stuff over there bud real well but we they just gotta ship them it's the, the chemicals. same way we do though huh they don't consume meat the same way we right do. well they you know i mean you give a family a 10 ounce steak over there and they split it between five people for you, if, for for you, if I give you that with dinner, you'd be like, "Where's the other half?" Hey, <laughs> shout out to uh, Arnie's forty ounce steak, yeah, see, you know, Porterhouse. Quarter. <laughs> shout out to Arnie's, and I believe Ravenna, Ohio. Shout out, shout out. That's my favorite steak out there, Bob. Get you a steak from bro. Arnie's. You don't even need a knife. We better call them and tell them you they don't even fifty bucks for you, dropping their name. You don't even need a knife, bud, in really? that Porterhouse. Dude, I use my fork and cut it up. Arnie's, huh? It's good stuff. What are you bud. gonna spend Date on night? a plate of food there on a steak? It's like thirty bucks, probably fifty a person. But you yeah. get three, you get a few sides, and you know. But dude, I think it was like thirty-two or forty ounce porterhouse, bro. Legit date night, Bob. Date night. Date night. Who's the see, who's the, the special the girl? To go on a date. So if you're that special woman out there and you want to go to a great steakhouse with the brewski, call. <laughs> Call 1-800-STEAK-WITH-BREWSKI. Press 1 if you're a blonde. Press, Press two, 2 if you're a brunette. And, and if you're 3 a man, if for that redhead. And if you're a man that used to be a woman or a woman that used to be a man. Please call Slick at... <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Don't have him call my phone. <laughs> so, did we make it to Pride Month? <laughs> You were going to say is something that, special is that about shit Pride. over yet? I've got a note here. Brewski says something special about Pride Month. Is that stuff over give yet? Him, give Wait, him what you got. Do we, do we have to give back all the Bible just, and get one? I think Pride is so <laughs> stupid. Why would you have a... Why would you celebrate Pride, period? And oh, dude, okay. But there's no logic in that. Bro, they just... They're doing that shit at the schools now, man. There's a, a reason you're school... supposed to not have Pride. <laughs> There's a certain You're gay. Sc- there, no, I'm just kidding. There, there's stuff. a certain school in right. our area. We that, we get it. Yeah, that just uh. You're, um, you're proud is, that is, you're uh, gay. We get it. Yeah, we get it. We get it. So let me be white and straight, please. Thank you. Let hey, me love, America's let gonna me, give two let fucks me like about women. Pride Month until Taco Bell gives out like a free taco, and then all of a sudden everybody's <laughs> gonna be like, "All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude, I'll go get my free taco." There's a certain school in our ed- so sad, in true. our it, so, there's a certain school in our uh, area that uh, wants to put up uh, wants to make a full month of pride yeah. for the students and put up flags and everything it's around. Dude, uh, I'm starting it's to so see, sad. I'm, not, I'm starting to see the collapse of civilization. It is. We know it. They, now we're just shitting where we eat. like if nothing's good. Wait, wait say- till they come and try to change American flag colors, Bob. I That's can't believe be the next one, bro. I can't believe I heard. Like, here's here's the confusing part for me, honestly, is because equality, like right, like equal, yeah, pretty simple concept. But the whole <laughs> like, yeah. the, the whole thing with that is like it seems like whether whether it's the the pride or whatever, it's like it seems like a certain that certain group, whatever, it seems like they push for their own thing. But nobody but that, else's. Yeah, like it's like they want their own separate thing, but also to be part of everyone else's. Yep, so it's yep, like that's yep. not equal. Like that's like still putting like a certain special aspect on a certain thing. Like I noticed that with graduations at certain colleges in the area. Right. They got a separate one for the LGBTQ right, community. Right. And then those people still take place in the normal one also. So right. it's like those people get two graduations, but they right. want it equal. That's not equal. You got two, I got one. I mean, right. I wasn't going to, I was I wasn't aware of these or, things. Or, or, yeah. or, or, or here's the best one. That's troublesome. Where they, where they come yeah, to. Yeah, it's, you're it's adding on to, yeah, you're bolting on. That's cancerous, it sounds or like. like what yeah. school, Cut that shit right off. Or what schools are trying to do right now. That's putting, it. I said it. No more LGBTQ graduation. Slap in the table. Done. Or what's next? Cer- what made. certain schools saving are saving the world? <laughs> Sorry. What certain schools are trying to do right now is uh, like organizations are coming in, 
and you might have a little five, six year old kid. He's straight. He's cool. Well, how do you know? Uh-huh. Uh, I know because he is a little boy and he don't like, you know, hell, he don't even like girls at this time. He don't know what he wants. <laughs> Leave him the fuck alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let him be a kid. Don't be messing with his brain at this early age with the cartoons and everything, bro. It's, uh, it's like, it's, it's, it's yeah, they can, but they can say that. Well, how do you know you're not? Yeah. You, have you looked deep I mean, down inside seen, they've, yourself they've and seen, checked? Yeah. They're, they're how kids. Do you know? freaking kid. They're yeah. still learning the alphabet. Exactly right. <laughs> like, oh, well, you know, like, fuck, dude, that, dude, they've been going after them forever. Dude, they put a rainbow in the damn, uh. What is the, what is the, uh... These psychos must think that if you can shove all this into their head, that this will stop, like, violence or something. <laughs> no. Th- the percentages show that a kid, you know, turns gay. What are the chances he commits suicide when he's in his teenager's years? Very high. So... Dude, it's crazy up high. It's a very... And so their their take on this might be that we need to let these people every know kid has that to be you're this way. special... Every and kid has to be seen to get made be, fun of. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm worried about is some kids that are just terribly confused. Yeah. And that drives up suicide Bro, rates because to, they yeah. question themselves all together. Right. And then they get to a point where they're just not even sure. It's weak minded stuff. And, and the fact that like you're going to have a lot of kids saying they're confused. All right. Absolutely. And like, Five years later, they're not confused anymore. What did I do? What have I like? They're then then they're gonna be like, well, I get even yeah. more sad. Probably it's terrible. And yeah, and who they're knows probably what they've done it. Doc, yeah, who, yeah, who, hormones or anything yeah, who like that. Dude, that's that's you got. Some Welcome s- to America, bud, the nation when you have, of and indoctrination. I, now here I is this scalpel. Go back at cut it. off your penis. I always go back to it. The weakness of some people and they not yeah. being able to. St- there's too many people that are scared to say things, which is so messed up. But not here at Slick and Brewski's save the world. There's one thing. If there's one thing as being a parent, if you're going to say, you know, I don't know, but you know, if there's one thing you're going to protect in life, it should be your kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, between dead immigrants, Pride Month, R. Kelly, Ghislaine Maxwell, and a football coach getting fired, I'd say we're fucked. But that's just what I think. Tell us what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can save the world!